Hey, hey, guys. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Do I say good night? No. It's already just in the morning anyway. And um, uh, uh, I, 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 I want us to look at what we call scamming. Scamming and scammers. And in layman's language, scamming is just stealing, per se. Scammers are just thieves, per se. Niwezi, niwezi yani, right? Scammers niwezi tu. It's just another language. Maybe in a different, you know, uh, 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 platform. That is technology platform. Scammers are basically thieves. They're just gangsters. So, scamming. And so, scamming is just a technology word. Right? Nijina ya kitechnologia. And scamming is a crime in which the perpetrator develops a scheme using one or more elements of the internet to, be, to deprive a person of property or interests, right? So the thieves, use, the thief just use technology. The manga here, the gunster here, the goon, just use technology. That is the internet mostly, right? To deprive a person of property or any interest estate or right by a forced representation of a matter or of a fact and it is very painful whether providing misleading information or by concealment of information do you know that a person can scheme you by just failing to give you information Information is power. And especially nowadays we are living at information age. Very important. Let, 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 let's not just, uh, you know, uh, misunderstand the information from just, you know, the casual mushenes. Uh, the casual stories, right? Okay. Uh, grapevine. Right? So, anyway, from grapevine, you can deprive your own information. But information, important information, right? Good information, it is very powerful. And especially online information, internet information. So, if someone fails to give you information about a certain happening, about a certain topic, about a certain, you know, event, then that person can scam you very easily. Can become a scammer. Right? Because this person can use your failure to know about the event, about the happening, about the issue, you know, to, like, steal from you you know, to mislead you. And so, if you have information, you can be able to choose, you can be able to make the right choice. But if you don't have it, you can be scammed. Unaze biwa. Okay? How, do, how, how does your, a scammer uh, uh, get your money or steal your money? Scammer na kuibiaga aje. How do internet thieves steal money from you? These con artists, and especially from the internet, how do they get to steal your money? And they use money, in most cases, these con artists, they use money transfer systems to steal your money. What are these money transfer, you know? means or systems like for example an M-Pesa app 
right? Like for example, a bank, you know, app, like Equity app, like KCB app, AXA app, Snapchat app, that you've installed into your mobile phone. <clears throat> Just like I said in a um, cyber security topic, these scammers are professionals, by the way. They are not just lay people. And so they will develop a small program that can be able to capture, for example, your password or PIN or information about your bank account. Because we've noticed so many people are using apps. And so using this program, they will capture your PIN, they will capture your password, they will capture your data. And then using this data, this, using this app, they can run it, in, in input the PIN, and they see phone money from your account using the system. That's how scammers do, or that's what scammers do. And so, so if someone uh, don't know, or ask you so, to send money to them, it should be a red flag. For you to know that he or she is trying to scam you. Scammers also use mobile payment services to trick people sending money to merchandise without holding up their end of the deal. And so if someone, for example, calls you, unajua tunawitanga, ni wale watu wakamiti tu. But you can be scammed by a person mwenye mmekatu na ye kwa kiti moja ama kwa rumoja. And so if, for example, you hear people calling you, asking you to send them money and you don't know them, for one, that is a scammer. Avoid them. Don't communicate with them. And that's one way of, you know, avoiding it. And you can catch a scammer if he calls you by going to the internet or to Google, look for their picture or their photo. If it brings a different person, maybe alikuwa mwanaume, was a male person calling you, but if you search, you find a, maybe a woman or a lady or a female person or a different company, then that is a scammer. Avoid it. Avoid them. And avoiding scams is like avoiding, is what we talked about on, on avoiding being or avoiding cyber criminals, cyber or avoiding hackers. And one of the ways is to avoid calls from people you don't understand, you don't know them, and especially that which asking for your personal information or asking for money from you and you don't know them. Avoid opening emails from people you do not know. If it looks suspicious, suspect it and delete it. Don't be curious to open even spam mails. Another way is another way is being careful with the links at new websites. Someone just sent you a link, tells you to click so that you join and maybe earn money or join their, maybe their channels or so, or see their website and you don't know them. You've not requested for it. You don't know about it. Then avoid it completely. Secure your personal information by having a backup or by keeping your devices away from people or suspicious people. Keep your mobile phones away from thieves or from suspicious people. Keep your laptop away. Don't just give it to any other person because it contains your personal information. Stay, information. stay informed on the latest cyber threats. Get to know. Be informed. Look for information that helps you. That which is talking about how people are using new technology to trick people into stealing their money from their mobile phones or from their computers or from their systems from microfinances so that if you know and you happen to see such a link or you happen to hear such people calling you then don't pick phones from them don't give them your information so that you don't become a victim i told you that these people are professionals and they can really trick you into stealing from you now, and I'm telling you, these people are mostly professionals, and some of them, we are even living with them in our community, right? And so, use strong passwords again. 
in your financial systems. Have at least a two way of authenticating the people who are getting into the system. Have at least one or a maximum of two administrators into your financial system, into your data, into your system, so that you can, you know, eliminate doubts when something happens. You know who to follow. And so that not so many people have access to your information and have trusted have trusted that means that gets access into your information system. Keep your software up to date and maintain uh, preventive software programs. As we say, preventive software programs are like antiviruses and phishing programs. You know, uh, 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 security alert, you know, messages.